Budweiser has been approved to temporarily change its name to America. With the Olympic Games, the 4th of July, and the crazy general election looming, Anheuser-Busch has decided to launch a summer-long campaign called America is in Your Hands. Ah, I can hear the frat bros losing it now. Alrighty, so um, this was approved today by the Alcohol and Tobacco uh, Tax and Trade Bureau. And as I said, because of the, the Olympics being held here, so Budweiser is the official sponsor of the Olympics. We obviously have the general election taking place in November. You also have the Copa America Soccer Tournament. It's basically, according to Budweiser, it's the most American summer ever. So, <laughs> <laughs> right? Sure. I know. Okay. Uh, more American than last summer when you had stars and stripes on all of your cans. Um, so, uh, like, like I said, so the cans are going to look the same, but they are changing the name from Budweiser to America. Um, there's going to be a few other changes as well. So this is going to take place uh, beginning in May, uh, May of this year. So May, it is May. Oh my gosh! Right. And so the 23rd of this month, and then it's going to last through November. So through the the November Wonderful. election, right? Um, but so a few of the different changes, it's not just America. They're also changing, for example, King of Beers is going to instead be A Pluribus Unum, the, the, the seal, what's written the on the... motto of the United States. Yeah, United States motto. Out of many, one. Yeah, exactly. So very, Great. very okay. profound. Out of, out of many bad beers <laughs> there is that one. taste like lukewarm the king bath of bad water, beers. there's this one yeah. that managed to have the marketing team to bring you to steal the name of the country uh, where it's sold, but not made, because it's made by a Belgian company. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, don't let that confuse you. <laughs> it's a very American summer. It's very American. Okay, so, um, but then, of course, there's the, the part on the on the can that says world renowned it's instead going to say land of the free um, they want instead of Anheuser-Busch it's going to say liberty and justice for all so basically just changing oh. all the stuff on the can right. to be America themed but of course yes yeah, some of the biggest criticism is the fact that it's it's a Belgian based company right. I, although well, that would, that, I wouldn't start with that I would start with the fact that it's a pretty it's uh, the worst undrinkable beer. beer right exactly that would be my first starting point rather than who makes it but yeah then there's an ancillary point yes the fact that it's not made here is some something of an irony but the fact that the Budweiser they're really like yes Budweiser has become America. So I'm like, I don't know how to take that. Oh, My God. goodness. So yeah, they, um, as I said, they are oh, also one thing on the, the can too is they're going to say since 1776. But of course, Budweiser was only introduced in 1876, a uh, hundred years after Boom. that declaration. A little so, beer history there for yeah. you, beer aficionados. Ex exactly. But they still think, I guess, you know, and of course, Budweiser has done many of these, these patriot themed uh, campaigns. There's the Stars and Stripes, the Liberty, the Statue of Liberty, and all other uh, stuff. Of course, it's just a marketing ploy. Sure. But at the, you know, because of course th their sales spike. Uh, so one third of all beer sales uh, take place between Memorial Day and Labor Day. Of course, the peak is at the Fourth of July. So on one hand, of course, it's just it's another. Okay, what can we do this summer? At the same time, the fact that you have the culmination of all these things, the Olympic Games, you have the the election and everything. So America is literally and figuratively in our hands, according to Budweiser. <sighs> Wonderful, wonderful. Why, I mean, they've crowbarred that in. The fact the Olympics, <laughs> yeah. the Olympics every four years, they didn't even got that except, well, maybe they did four years ago. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's to do with the election and driving that and how much publicity there's been about the election this cycle just because it's so bonkers. So, listen, the marketing department are, are on to it. I'm just shocked and surprised, continue shocked and surprised that they can use the American flag, the stars and stripes and the motto from the seal and the name America and stick it on a can of beer. I'm right. surprised that they're able, they're able to get away with that. They're obviously paying a significant amount of money in licensing fees or intellectual property rights to someone somewhere. Right. Well, and it's also, when you think about it, it, it seems like it could be simple enough, but even I, I was reading about how it, it took a little bit more to actually write America on there because Budweiser is a is a handwritten script, so they had to really do some work to get that A as you know curly Q as as the B on Budweiser. So they they really kind of jumped through hoops to make this this marketing play work. We'll see we'll see if it does I'm work. I'm sure it'll know. be very effective. And again, nothing says sporting endeavor like a can of beer. You <laughs> yeah. know, the fact that they've managed to get in, they're the official sponsor of the the Brazil uh, World Cup. Again, we know all of the problems that beer companies have had, or all the controversy that beer companies have had. You know, or the fact that they were for the, for the Brazilian World Cup was the fact that alcohol was not allowed to be sold in Brazilian stadiums. And yet they changed the laws. Uh, and FIFA, in conjunction with Budweiser and a number of other brands, but they, in conjunction with Budweiser, they changed the laws of the country so that they could actually sell alcohol in those stadiums. So one assumes there's been some kind of similar bargain, may well have been struck 
for the Olympic Games. It's a shameless commercialism. I get very frustrated with these types of situations. Yeah, situations. absolutely. But also, you know, again, it's just, you know, I, I get that their whole thing is to, to make it very American, but I'm like... It's, an it's, empty, the, it's empty. It's, it's totally it's empty. The worst it's beer. fueled up, hopped up on... Yeah, but it's that kind of like patriotic pride that actually is, is meaningless, empty, and, uh, and aggressive. So actually, it's the very worst epitome. I think this is the very worst epitome of what it is to be, uh, to be patriotic. Right. Well, Elliot obviously feels a little bit more strongly about it than I do. I think it's just a, a very silly marketing ploy, but we'll see how it works. Um, because apparently on May 23rd, this Merca's for you.